Hi, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to walk you through all the steps to create this mixed media B canvas. Some of the techniques we will be using are masking, collage, and stenciling. And besides using the wonderful Art Anthology coloration sprays and sorbet dimensional paints, I will also show you one of our newest products, the Stone Effects. So grab a cup of tea, sit back, and be ready to be inspired. I've primed my canvas with gesso, and I'm just going to use some of the coloration sprays and some of our yellow family of colors to spray the, the canvas, and I used Timeless, Glorious, and Salted Caramel. And after I sprayed it, then I used my heat tool to dry it. I want to preserve some of the color that I just created, so I'm going to use washi tape to mask off diagonal stripes on my canvas. And after this is done, then I'm going to take um, the sorbet in Tiger's Eye and just paint over the open areas. And my washi tape is going to make a nice resist that creates a nice straight line. Alright, you're going to remove your washi tape and then you're ready to add some more color. And I just spritzed with Waimea Bay and let it drip and, and run down the canvas a little bit. I wanted some nice splatters so I took the Viridian Sorbet and watered it down a little bit so it would be more fluid. And then just took the end of the paintbrush and made my splatters and allowed this to dry. I used Unity Stamps Cooped Up Notes and Stays on Ink to add some stamped images to my canvas. I used a Prima Mask and Wood Icing to add some dimension randomly on the canvas. I spritzed over the stenciled areas with some Waimea Bay to add some color to that as well. And then I took another stencil, another one from Prima, and this time we're going to use the stone effects. And this is just a very highly textured, gritty kind of paint. Um, it almost looks sandy, adds a lot of texture, and this black is very intensely black, so you get a true black with it. And I just spread this through the stencil um, to add some, some good... Um, contrast. I came back in and added some more color with the coloration spray. At the top I used the Waimea Bay and then at the bottom I used Raider um, which is a dark black and so once I sprayed it I used a paper towel to, to blot it immediately so it wouldn't obscure the colors but just add a nice smoky gray color to it. And then I dried it with the heat gun. Now I was ready to add some flowers to my canvas. So I took a paper napkin and separated the thick layers from the back and just pulled away the um, thin printed area. And I fussy cut this out and then I used some fluid matte medium to glue it onto the canvas. And I put this on the back of the napkin um, and then laid it onto the canvas. And honestly, I think it would have done better to do a little bit at a time because as you can see, I had some pulling 
um, which is fine, we fixed it later, but um, I think working in a small area would be an easier thing to do. And you're just going to keep adding layers of the flower images until you get the look that you like. And be sure to paint some of the fluid matte medium over the, the napkin as well that's going to help seal it in and protect it. You're going to go in and draw some squiggles with the dimensional crystal in Mermaid and this just adds a really nice um, highly textured drip look um, a little bit like a drip on steroids. And use an awl or a pick tool to just spread those lines a little bit, um, make them a little more integrated into the canvas. I found this wonderful bee image online and just printed it from my computer onto regular paper and then I went through and added paint over the top of it um, to give it a hand painted look. I used the tiger eye again and since this is a semi transparent paint I was able to paint over the entire image and my black detail from the print still showed through. And I used the stone effects in lava to paint my black details and that um, texture looked really great on the bee for the fuzzy areas. I fussy cut the bee and use the fluid matte medium again to apply this onto the canvas. And this time I just did a little bit at a time which made it much easier to manipulate the bee. I painted some titanium white around the edges of my bee to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I just spritzed some of the Glorious on my mat and used my finger to add this over the titanium white to help blend that in a little bit more, but still let the bee stand out um, a lot more instead of blending into the background. I just came back in with some more of the lava and um, repainted some of the areas that were a little bit obscured and also did the same thing with the tiger's eye just to make the bee look more like it was painted onto the canvas rather than collaged on. I used some glittered chipboard letters for my sentiment, um, but I thought that the, the gold was just a little, it stood out a little bit too much, so I came back with Viridian and painted over the chipboard letters. Here's a detail of the bee that you can see with some of the texture that was achieved with the paints. I hope you've enjoyed my latest video and that you learned some new techniques that you might not have seen before. Um, I'd love for you to be a subscriber to my video channel as well as the art anthology video channel. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.